with the target selected let's remove him something like here okay that's good for now okay select the light itself and uh, in the modify panel let's uh, change a couple of parameters of that so in the shadows just check uh, off the shadows and uh, in intensity color and attenuation rollout just click on that set the multiplier to okay at that point uh, I would suggest uh, uh, that uh, it's a good, good time to make a test render to see how the water looks like so let's take a test render go to a rendering panel and uh, click on render so all of us just go back to your perspective viewport and there is uh, another thing we just uh, missed so press M on your keyboard to bring out the material editor and with the water selected water means the plan just uh, click on that middle one material and uh, click on an assign material to the selection okay close your material editor <coughs> sorry and this is the time to take a test render I'm going to pause the video during the render because to save the time here we go so here is my test render and I hope your test render will be also similar to mine so just go back uh, make sure that you are in the perspective viewport and uh, in the camera view you have selected and then just check uh, the test render okay that's good but we had uh, lots of changes for now so close to your render and let's begin our work some kind of water effect uh, it's good uh, but uh, it doesn't look like uh, much uh, an underwater scene yet so let's add fog to make all the difference so now we are going to add some fog underwater so go to your atmosphere settings go to the render choose uh, environments then go to the atmosphere panel click on the add button and in the add atmosphere effect just type choose uh, click on that fog sorry fog and click ok now scroll down to the fog's parameters and check uh, use map and then click on the environment color maps uh, button and choose and gradient ramp material in the materials map browser just click on that gradient ramp next just to uh, open your material editor and choose any other empty slot material empty material slot and drag and drop the gradient ramp map from the fork settings into a material slot just click on that and drag and drop in in empty slot and when asked uh, for the in instance or copy just to uh, select the instance and click OK now in the mapping just click on the arrow and in the drop down list just select the screen and set the angle before the W just type 90 and hit enter ok in the gradient ramp uh, parameters just scroll down and click on the flag number one at the position of zero and set its color in the red type zero and hit enter in the green type 70 and in the blue oh I'm sorry just let's take a couple of changes in the red just type zero and in the green just type 11 and hit enter in the blue type 45 and hit enter then click OK now delete the middle one flag as we did before because we don't need that and uh, just double check on the last one flag and set its color to 70 red one double four green and two double five blue just click OK 
and scroll down to the output rollout expand it and uh, in the output amount just type uh, 1.5 and hit enter so before we render let's adjust environment bridge ranges select the camera let's close that window and close environment window too now select the camera just click on that select by name and in the selection from scene dialog box just choose the just choose the camera 01 and hit OK. Then in the modify panel, let's change its parameters. Just scroll down to the environment range and uh, in the show, just check it to yes and set the near range to 200 and hit enter and set the far range to something like 810 now we see the environment range in the viewport it's the area between big and brown line the fold will appear between these lines by default the density of the fold is 0% at the near range and 100% at the far range adjust the values or camera positions of if necessary so I'm going to adjust the range of the cameras by going in the front viewport and let's change the view of the camera select the light and move him something like uh, something like uh, to this side okay now select the camera and move him upward okay that's good okay go back to your, your perspective viewport and then camera view and uh, now let's take a, a render so I'm going to pause my video here we go so that's our render okay let's create some underwater light rays so close your render and uh, hit it on your keyboard to bring out the environment dialog box go back to the atmosphere rollout and once again click on the add and in the list just choose uh, uh, just choose a volume light and hit ok now click uh, just click on that uh, pick light button and choose the light we had just created so to select that go to your any other view I just prefer the front view and uh, select the light go back to the perspective and uh, to make sure that your MR area spotlight is selected and listed in the remove or add lights before okay set to its density to something like 7 and hit enter if you're not familiar with the volume lights, I suggest you render now to see how the effects looks by default. So far we are just to increase the density a little. The next step is going to have a dramatic effect to the volume light. We are going to use projector map to block most of the light and to use attenuation to fade the light to the background. So select the area spot all of us just close your environment dialog and select your area spotlight in any view then maximize your perspective viewport then go to the modify panel in the parameters in the intensity color and attenuation rollout just click on the colors set the red color to 32 the green color to 137 and uh, the blue color 255 and hit enter now click ok scroll down to the far attenuations panel and uh, just uh, on the use 
click yes give the start values something like uh, 430 and hit enter set the end values to something 650 now scroll down to the advanced uh, effect rollout expand that and uh, in the projector map click on this map button and choose noise scroll down to the noise power map just check and select your noise okay now open your material editor uh, make this window aside and choose any other empty slot and drag and drop this noise map to your material editor slot and when prompts just to uh, select the instance and click ok now let's set the noise parameters in the source just select this arrow and in the drop down list choose explicit map channel okay in the noise parameters set the noise type to turbulence set uh, its level to 10 and set the size to something like uh, 0 0.05 and in the low panel just type 0 0.35 Okay, close your material map browser and uh, at that point I will suggest you let's take another test render. Okay, this is my final render with the uh, light of rays. Let's uh, close that for now. And I hope your render also will be same as mine.